Hi everybody, we are talking about meal prepping. So I talk about it all the time, but I never show it. Um, I got water boiling right now, so I'm going to hard boil four eggs because that will be enough for two breakfasts for me. I'll have two eggs with each. The reason I'm doing that, I know two eggs, two days of eggs, um, is because I have one avocado. And so I'll eat half an avocado with each breakfast. So that's why I'm doing the four eggs. Um, and then the other days this week, I've decided that I'm going to do oatmeal. So I have my steel cut oats, but then I also like to add the minute oats. And I just like that because I like the texture of the minute oats better than I like the texture of the steel cut oats. But I know that the steel cut oats are really, really good for me as a whole grain food. Um, and then we're going to do some lunch prep. So I have some carrots and some peppers, some jalapenos, some sweet potato. Um, so gonna do some roasted veggies with that. I already, I'm gonna grab you. I already have the rice going in the rice cooker. Um, like I said, I have my peppers, I have some jalapeno, I have my sweet potato. And that is gonna be really nice roasted vegetables that I can pair with brown rice. I can put it with quinoa. I have some um, unsalted cashews that I bought. So I think that's gonna be great. I'll be able to um, kind of change the flavors a little bit by the spices and what I add to it. So the vegetables will be say the same this week. It'll just be what I change. So let's get these eggs in the boiling water for about 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes, which means my eggs are done boiling. And then what I always do is I immediately take the pot, I dump the water, and then I dump ice and cold water on it. And that just stops them from cooking, um, kind of shocks them. And uh, yeah, so that's what I do with my eggs. Okay, so the veggies are out of the oven. I had them in there at 425 for 17 minutes. Here we have some onion, red and yellow peppers, and carrots with, I just put fresh cut garlic on top of that. Um, I have some sweet potato here, and then I have Brussels sprouts. On the sweet potato, I put it in a bowl, a little bit of oil on it, and then I use nutmeg for the seasoning. The other vegetables I threw in a bowl, a little bit of olive oil, and then I used this um, shelled flax with roasted garlic, cumin, and curry powder along with ground fresh pepper. So those are the vegetables that I'm gonna put in my bowls with the brown rice. And then through the week, I can just add whatever it is else that I want with it. So here we are with the meal prep basically done. So I now have my breakfasts for the week. So I have my avocado. So I'll use half an avocado each day with two eggs and then I'll have some sort of fruit with it. And then I have my oats, my overnight oats in here. So there's about four servings in there. Um, I have almond milk, I have my steel cut oats, I have my quick oats, and then I also put ground flaxseed in and about six tablespoons of ground flaxseed and two teaspoons of uh, vanilla. And then when I go to have it, what I'll put in is some frozen blueberries and I'll heat it up and that'll be uh, probably three breakfasts this week. And so then this is the lunch meal prep. So this is three lunches each for my husband and I. Um, so it has the brown rice, it has the roasted vegetables that I was talking about. And then on my three, I also have extra fresh garlic chopped and put in there along with some jalapeno. I like mine a little bit spicier than my husband. I'm spicy enough for him. Um, <laughs> He's, he's recording and he just made this really funny face. So we just need to put a protein with this. So depending on what we feel like, we could put, we have some ham left over, so we'd use that. I usually use chicken breast, sometimes it's tuna. Um, but the other thing that I like to put on is unsalted cashews. So we have those. So those I just put on after I heat it when I'm about to eat it. And then I also will either put soy sauce on it or I have a mixture that I put together a sauce. The sauce that I usually put with this um, is just soy sauce with some maple syrup and some fresh garlic and ginger, which is really nice. But if I don't have that made, then I just put soy sauce on it or any other seasonings that I enjoy. 
Um, so yeah, it's a really quick, easy way to throw together a meal prep to give us some lunches for the week and really easy breakfast so that I don't have to think about in the morning. So that's my meal prep.